Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how I make my shirt. Um, I'm adding shirts to my to my Etsy shop and then eventually my website when I get a website. Because I want to, because making shirts is so much fun. And so I have them drawn out already here. I'll show you guys them drawn out. So here are my designs. I have my first one, the Manifest shirt. And then I also want to do a Black History Month. I mean, Black Lives Matter. Doing a Black History Month kind of shirt. But I don't know if I want to do this one or not. So yeah, this is my designs that I have drawn out. And then there's my laptop. So we can get started. Okay, first things first. I want to let you guys know that I'm having 50% off my Etsy shop um, until Sunday. Sunday the 28th. So yeah. So I already, let me show you guys my design on Canva. It's pretty cute, pretty cute. So like I showed y'all, I had a sketch and so I just found something on Canva to match that sketch. So I wanted to hurry up. So the shirt, it's gonna be this little butterfly in the middle and then it's gonna be manifest that beep. Oh, let me zoom in, y'all can't even see. All right, let me move the computer up. So yeah, it'll just say manifest oh go up go up go up it'll have the butterfly in the middle and then it will say manifest that beep i can't say a bad word because this is a family channel and my family watches it so i can't say the bad word so yeah that's shirt number one and then my other shirt i want to make it look like those thank you bags let me look it up thank you bags but i wanted to say black lives matter black lives matter i wanted to say it like that like these, these thank you bags. That look like that, you know, the takeout bags. I wanted to look like that, but I wanted to say Black Lives Matter. So I have to figure out how to make that. I think I can make it on Canva, but I have no clue if I'm being completely honest. So I'm gonna try and make it on Canva and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I made it in Canva. It was actually pretty easy. It looks just like that. I just put it in black because when I go to save it and then put it in Cricut, it's a lot easier for me to, um, it's a lot easier for me to, the lines are better. It's just better when it's black for me to erase the white background and stuff. It's easier for me to put it on Cricut. And the font that I used is just a plain like you can pick any font that you want and then all you have to do is go click on the you just click on the letters and then you go to effects and then you just switch it to hollow right here you'll see if i can move it closer there it says hollow and then when you want to fill it in then you just click none like no effect on the text so yeah that was super fast too i'm glad that i got that done so now I'm gonna save the design actually i think i'm gonna yeah yeah i'm just gonna say download the design with the transparent background and then get to designing on cricut okay now let me move you guys closer there we go so now i'm in cricut design space oh that was not supposed to happen now I'm in Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna go to New Project, and then I'm gonna go to Upload. I've, t I've showed you guys how to do this again. Let me flip the camera around. Okay, there we go. So I've showed you guys how I navigate Canva. I mean, not Canva, Cricut, but, um, back when I was on my HP, but now this is on MacBook. So it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go to Upload over here, and then I'm gonna, I already have uh, the butterfly in, for my thing and this is how i wanted the um this is how i wanted the shirt to look like initially and this you guys this is so cute okay so i was trying to make a cup like a custom tumbler for the, um this girl her brand is hello black child it's so cute and she like has a p.o box that we can sense up to so i wanted to make her a custom cup but like her logo didn't come out perfect so i have to work on that so just ignore that i'm not trying to steal nothing i was trying to make her something but yeah so now we're gonna upload the image Browse, files, and then recent. Where is it? I gotta download. Because this thing, it, started, it acts so like weird. 
and there we go here is the black lives matter shirt and there i downloaded it with a transparent background so it should be easy and then i'm gonna click simple and then continue and then bam i downloaded it with the transparent background so it literally looks perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and click continue because i don't have anything to erase and then i'm gonna save it as a save as a cut image and um because this is a print and cut but i'm not printing and cutting i'm just cutting it straight with the um htv and then there it's saved right there easy as that and i'm gonna do the same thing with my other design and then i'll get back on Okay, so now I've uploaded everything and I have this open in Cricut Design Space. I'm just gonna shrink it down to a size 12. And then bam, that's that on there. And then for my next piece, I'm gonna go ahead and add in, can I select three? Yeah, I can select three at a time. And there we go. So this one's gonna be a little different because I have to piece it together since I took it apart. So I think I want it like that. Cause I want to make it big so then I can make it small. And then I put this down here like so. And then this up here like that. And I think I love that. I actually love that. Let me make sure it's centered though. Align. Oh shoot, how do I do it? Let me align it to the left. There we go. So now it's like aligned and it looks so cute i i'm absolutely in love with this like, i can't believe i i came up with this like it's literally oh shoot stop so cute so yeah now i'm gonna select all three of these pieces and make sure it's only those three and i'm going to weld them together just like that and i'm gonna make the design um i think i want to make the design maybe seven mm, i think i want to make it i'll make it 12 and then enter oh but that's gonna be too big because the height is gonna be 15 so let me do it at 10 10 to 12 no let me do it at 9 jesus okay there nine works and that's my two shirts you guys so next i'm gonna go up here to make it and then i'm gonna grab my cricut and i'll be right back okay so now it's time to cut i have my laptop hooked up and I have both things in mirror. And then I'm gonna turn my Cricut dial to iron on. And I like to go over it twice just to make sure that everything is actually like cut all the way through. I'm taking my standard grip mat. For the first one, the manifest shirt, I'm gonna do it in white, um, white iron on vinyl. And then the Black Lives Matter, I think I want to do that one in, um, hmm, actually I don't know what color I'm going to do that one in. I think I'm going to do that one in black, maybe. Yeah, I'll probably do it in black. So yeah, I'm going to get set up and then I'll show you guys the final result. Okay, so I've weeded out my design. It looks so cute. It turned out way better than I thought it was. And I have my heat press over here heating up. Oh, sorry y'all. That was not supposed to happen. There we go. And now I'm gonna grab my shirt. I'm using this shirt, this forest green shirt. It looks super cute. I absolutely love this color. And I'm heating my iron up to 330. And then I'm gonna use it for 30 seconds. On here, actually, I think I'm gonna put this inside of the shirt. This is my, it's like a mat that you use. Um, when you're ironing things onto t-shirts. So I put it in there to protect my table, essentially. I really don't know the purpose of it, but I just know you're supposed to use it, y'all. Don't, <laughs> don't think that I know everything. And the shirts that I prefer are the Bella Canvas ones because they're affordable, they're soft, and I like them personally. And so the design, I want it lower than um, the neckline. So I'm gonna bring this down actually into the shirt and then get it situated the way that I want it. There, like right in the middle kind of, but lower 
than the neckline because I don't want the design to be on the neckline. And then I get my ruler and I measure down how far I want it. I'm probably gonna put it about two inches down. Two, yeah. Like right, right there. Let me scooch y'all back. There we go. And then now I have it laid out how I want it to. And let me scoot the thing down once again. So annoying. Okay, there. And I have to do it in more than one goes, but that's okay. And then I measure it from like the armpit and let's make sure it's even. So from here to the armpit, it's, hold on. So from this wing to the armpit, it's about nine and a quarter. And so this armpit needs to be exactly the same. So it's centered um, one inch to a little bit. I'll shift it a little bit over there. I didn't even shift it because I, <laughs> y'all, it's okay. It's only off by a quarter, but um, that's fine. So now I'm just going to wait. Oh, actually my thing is heated up all the way. So now I'm going to take my press and then move my iPad out of the way. And then I press it down and then I press the button and then I give it a little bit of pressure. It says you don't have to, but I do it anyway, just to make sure that it's on. And now we wait. Okay, we're done with the first pass. I'm gonna let it cool off and then I'm gonna do two more passes, one on here and then two, I mean three passes, and then two on the bottom half so it's equally heated. Okay guys, so I am done and now I'm just gonna take the adhesive layer off the shirt and this is the this vinyl cleaned off really well i got it from a store here they don't have an online shop or else i would link it but this literally came off like butter this is so much this is so good and the shirt worked amazing so yeah this is the shirt looks so cute um i'll try it on for you guys and then that will be it okay guys so this is how the shirt turned out i'm so happy it looks so cute i'm literally so happy look at it it's just it's just perfect and this is for the thumbnail okay now i'm done with that but yes i'm so happy with how it turned out you guys it looks cute and this shirt color is just the forest green everything so thank you guys for watching this video these will be on my website probably tomorrow tomorrow is the 27th so yeah it'll be up tomorrow and it'll be in this forest green color it'll also be in two other shades it'll also be in the sand color and then this cream color so i'm so excited thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it give me a thumbs up of course comment down below and subscribe because why not you're like already here so just subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.